Well, hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to Life of Wonders. As you know, this is Polo and I love making videos of dolls, toys and Disney collectibles. And as always, if you like this kind of content and you feel like supporting the channel, then you already know what to do. So today we're going to do the full unboxing and detailed review of Frankenstein from the very first Ultimate Secrets collection. Um, now, they are my last in line probably because I wasn't like too excited about the promotional pictures but that actually can change once I um, I don't know I experience it all in person and and that is something that it's been happening to me lately so I'm very excited to share it with all of you so this is the playset um, with the artwork on the front um, by Darko which I love and I actually collect these pieces I find them super cool and then um, we find the different colors that um, they've chosen for Frankie. It's not my preferred combination of colors, but I understand this is like very Frankie um, in this generation. And then on the back, we have the rest of the ghouls that I've already reviewed individually. So I will be taking the plastic cover and we'll take it from there. All right, so here we can appreciate even better like the whole format of the um, coffin shaped locker um, that again this was like the first time that they did this for the first series of the school Ultimate secrets and by now we already have like three series and with pictures and all for for the third one which I will be talking about real soon because I'm very excited about that series so we can see that they've chosen this um, deep blue color for like the main gate and we're we're actually going to um, reveal the door and yay well I have to say I like a face quite a lot I'm not a huge fan of the poly um, hair that they decided to um, give Frankie this time again I think that every time we're getting poly it's an unfortunate um, thing but other than that, I'm loving the makeup. Um, I'm also loving the pop of color for her lip, for for their lips, and I'm also loving these boots. Um, I really do. <laughs> and so right over here we have all the different things that um, Frank is used to decorate the locker from the inside, including their birthday and the different compartments that I will be. Um, exploring right now so first of all I will free, free her from the package and then we'll open the different compartments together okay so here we have Frankie out of the box and I have to say that I like them quite a lot it's just to me it's a pity that they've used um, well poly hair all around because at first I thought that maybe the blue hair um, or the black uh, could be saran but in fact it isn't I don't think it is like I think it's as thick and you know um, dry and rigid as the white hair the only positive part of it is that to achieve this nuclear white almost um, shade of white it's very difficult um, by using saran so normally saran hair that is like really really uh, platinum or uh, almost white tends to go a little yellow over time and that is the only thing I would say that we can make sure that um, they have like this white uh, color as a base and will remain for forever quite possibly and then uh, we can see the streaks of black hair um, that are distributed throughout the back and then the two um, frontal streaks of blue I mean I think that the um, length is considerable um, it's a pity that the streaks uh, don't go all the way down but anyway I mean um, they're looking gorgeous again I love the Mitch Ma uh, mix match or yeah makeup um, and then the pop of color for um, the lips and then as we go down I knew this shirt wouldn't be among my favorites um, but 
it's even worse, I think, in person. Like, I don't know. I mean, I think it's a very basic, almost like it doesn't have, like, a proper shape. It's it's too baggy. Um, it's supposed to be a crop top, I think, but it's just, like, too baggy. And the way it's been put together, it's just, like, very, very basic. Um, I think that I might probably feel surprised by how well um, Frankie sports uh, this, you know, very intense color by the way i have to say that the, something good that i found about the hair as well i hope you can see it i mean it's all white it's definitely super white and um you can see it there if i do that but when it gets closer to like for example this uh pink uh shape piece of clothing then it's, it reflects that and it creates the illusion that she's well that they've also having um pink undertones or something but um that isn't the case but you can see that how how is turning but i mean it is not turning and even though it would seem it is pink it's extremely white i don't know that's fun um that is fun then this cut i like it i love the faux super and i think i'm going to be liking the top that goes with it um very much it, it reminds me of g1 um and it's like um there is a lot of nostalgia involved there and then for the boots i have to say i mean well I mean, not really impressed, but I like what they've done um, here for Frankie, um, incorporating black and uh, fluorescent or, you know, deep magenta and fluorescent yellow um, with the, you know, um, lightning. Um, and then on the other one, there's only just one. And then on this one, it's like a multi-logo uh, sort of thing. And um, they're supposed to be like Cinderella sort of like boots. Um, but I don't like that for the prosthetic leg, uh, we don't get anything else, like anything written or... And, and I, I, I get if they're giving us like a translucent leg like they did for the Ultimate Secret Series 2 or they're going to do to, to for his Ultimate Secrets uh, Series 3, but then for this one, not having like anything, um, I don't know, a bit too basic in my opinion. Then, here I have the cutouts. I always um, get this because it's funny and I can use it in, well, I do have like a toy shop, like a miniature in which I put my mini uh, brands and then I I do have like a playset from the 90s that I will be showcasing uh, sometime in the future and I love this because um, it's almost like having a mini version of like a catalog or something of what's going on in the present and that is something I like. Here we have the first key, this I cut it out from the instructions by the way and you know uh, the drill about the keys which I'm not going to uh, follow. I wanted to also um, show you the inside of it. So we have like this uh, math scientist lab, I guess, in which Frankie can create um, their accessories and then again, um, what I already shared with you at the beginning. And now we're, start, um, we're starting to get um, the different bags out of the compartments. So this time around, um, the pattern includes the heart with stitches and a, th a lightning um, bolt. Um, and then the question mark with the collect and it's blue. And I actually like it quite a lot, these bags. You can reuse them, just fit little things um, as like little presents for, I don't know, your friends or your nieces or nephews or whatever your little um, ones. Um, and here we have the second one. Now, the third one, I'm a little bit nervous actually because again, like I didn't like the overall um, aesthetic um, from the promo, but I really hope it feels different. So we already have like three and here uh, we're getting the final one. So what I'll be doing is like cutting the bags and uh, well I have to redo this whole scene um, this 
portion of the clip in Spanish and then I'll continue just uh, sharing what's inside and by the end of the video I will include like different pictures with the different combinations that I see fit for her or that I like most um, so yeah we'll take it from there all right so here we go again Frankie's wearing what they came uh, wearing and now we're going to be discovering what's inside of the box the first one I believe it was this one and it always comes with the fashion pieces so let's see all right so we have the jacket and I like it I like I, I like the materials um, they've used to create this jacket so the central portion of it and the color um, it's like this satin plastic material but it's you know it isn't like papery as such and I think it it could look pretty well and then for the puffy uh, long sleeves um, they've used um, this very soft acrylic um, material and again and then we have like this classic pattern that we always associate with um, Frankie as well so I think I like it yeah I do like probably my least favorite now is Cleo's um, because of the material they used but this one I do like it then we have the um, matching part for the skirt they're wearing and I think I'm going to look love like these two pieces um so much more than with this shirt in my opinion and then we have obviously a color reveal reveal key and these are uh, shorts high-waisted they might look like a skirt but they're um shorts and i think this could look pretty cool with this shirt as well as with these like seriously um it's just much more difficult to combine those colors as such but anyway i like it um this is by the way the same material that i was referring earlier but it feels thicker than cleo's um jacket anyway and for whatever reason i think i like that this one is hemmed um everywhere so it, it might be a better constructed um it has velcro on the back same as this one here now the second one could be this one no i think it was like this one um so for the second one uh we're getting the um right the final key which is this fluorescent yellow green color then we're getting this color which i like I know it's a piece of plastic. I love the one that came with Draculaura and this one is pretty cool with the twist collect and like the, um, I don't know, the whole design is pretty cool. It's giving me uh, Wednesday Adams, but you know, um, for these Monster High characters. And then we have the um, earrings. As always, I feel this gold is pretty cool, but I think it, the could have done better with the hint of color in my opinion i really don't like the colors much but i have to admit that the design is pretty cool and then we have this heart that reminds me so much of this like 80s leather trend um you know like motorbike um sort of like vibe um and to be honest, like I don't like it as much for Frankie, um, but it's a cool piece. It's something unexpected, I would say, and something that could feel more urban with references to these 80s um, fashion trend, um, especially within the um, LGBTQ plus community. Um, that is something I very much associate. Like when you, you're fully dressed in leather, this would be like the heart. Um, that would go with it in a way that makes sense. I think I would have liked it more without the print So probably just black and silver. It has like the silver chain and it's really nicely done it and it's very heavy um, Which will make sure that will remain it in place. So that is cool. Then um, Here we can find well the keychain as always, I love these pieces. Another uh, color reveal um, key, and then we have these boots. 
which I think I like better than this like because as original as these ones are with you know the print basically because otherwise they're very um basic these ones even though uh there's no like painted details they're still so cool and i think that this one could actually be worn by any other character and just still looking amazing so i love the versatility of it and i just love the combination of silver and and it's a shimmery silver and black so i'm loving that for uh frankie and then the last thing that we're getting are these three pieces for like the um yeah the the food or um snacks so um they got this iced coffee with the transparent lid that can be taken off if you wanted to and then the um, thingy for Frankie to hold it and then there is a box of cereal this time around there's nothing printed on the back like no um, you know nutritional facts or anything like that but I love the print it's cool and then there is an energy bag sorry an energy bar um, that is cool. I mean, it's basic, but again, it's it's kind of cool and, and it's nice to have a piece of background um, As a piece of background for Frankie. So these are all the pieces that came uh, with them And now what I will do is taking pictures with different combinations that I will be adding at the very end of the video But for now, this has been the review uh, of it so I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have well don't forget to give me a like let me know what you think about this Frankie from series one Scott and the Secrets as always I will be more than happy to get back to all of you for now stay safe and I'll see you all very very soon bye bye